How are we gonna explain how we got this? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't look good to brown guys having a cockpit door. <laughs> They're gonna they're gonna report us to the FAA or something or FBI. Don't report us to FBI, please. <laughs> All right, so we managed to get ourselves a Boeing 737 airplane cockpit door. Uh, I don't know too much about these doors, so just very get a little closer. Let's review some of these uh, some of this stuff here. So apparently there is uh, this little guy, the viewfinder, so the pilots can see from inside out. Okay. This is on the inside of the cockpit. And there's a lock on top, opens and closes. There's an additional safety key feature here. Okay, that's you put that in there. I think that's another uh, locking mechanism that goes in right over there. For, oh, go back in there. For this two exit door. So it seems like, I don't know if they're still like this. They probably are. It seems like there's two exit doors on top of this door. So there's one on the upper area and one on the lower area. I'm not 100% sure what this mechanism is over here. It doesn't have any buttons on it. There's no keyholes or anything. I don't know if you guys know what this is. Let me know. Maybe some sort of a magnetic uh, device that uh, releases this, uh, this latch. There's a latch over here, some sort of a lock that opens up this... Um, this top part in case there is an emergency there are these two little knobs over here well let me see so it seems like this one slides right right down so it doesn't lock it from the top I don't know what the purpose of this is and there's the doorknob and there's another one of these mechanism down here and this also slides open now on the other side it's about inch and a quarter thick and here's another lock. This is, uh, I guess if you have a key and you're outside, you can open it. Probably pilots only have the key for that. Not sure. So if you are a pilot, please let us know what uh, these things are. I'm really curious. These guys over here. First round, we're gonna do the 22 long rifle. And this is just a 40 grain, nothing special. And we're gonna use it with the small pistol 22, okay? Walter P22. Okay, we're empty. So it looks like it made a little tiny hole here and it just ricocheted back out. Same thing happened here. No exits, it just barely touched it. Uh, barely did anything to the surface. Same thing here and here. Okay? So nothing happened with that 22. For this next test, we're gonna do the 115 grain full metal jacket. These are nothing fancy. This is the most commonly used round, a nine millimeter. And we're doing a Glock 17. Custom slide work done by Dynamic Weapon Solution, thanks to them. And let's shoot it. What do you guys think? Do you think the nine millimeter go through? And let's go for a center by the door now. Just buddy, we're clear. It came out, right? Yeah. One, two, two. Maybe it's stuck in there. Okay. So one, two, three. Just ready to get on the back. So the one in the middle I shot, it did not come out. I think it's stuck right over here in the middle somewhere. And it didn't even bulge up the uh, middle part. This one here in the middle, it split the wood in half. I don't know if it came out. I have a feeling it's stuck in there. And same thing happened to this. It bulged up and cracked the back open. I'm not sure, I don't see the bullet in here so I can say it did it or not. It's possible it's stuck in there. To know for sure if the bullet has come out or not, put a water jug in the back of this and then shoot it again. See if the water jug will get damaged. It's a possibility there's some sort of a Kevlar or some sort of a bulletproof material inside this. It's stopping the bullet but it's cracking the wood. So let's, let's do that. Let me... I'm gonna shoot it in the same area. I hit this metal, but it just ricocheted back. It didn't even uh, make any hole in it. So we know that part is pretty tough. Let's go lower now. Okay, I guess I'm a little proud of this Boeing 737 door. It did not come out. It made a hole, it was sitting right over here. Impressive. Okay, maybe we'll bring a knife or something, try to get that bullet out from there. So they're getting stuck inside this door. I'm happy so far. Okay, now we're gonna do the 40 caliber. This is a full metal jacket. 
No way, it's getting stuck. I shot one a little bit higher, one lower, and this bottle was uh, right over here, and none of them came out. Wow, this stuff is really bulletproof. We're gonna do the Desert Eagle. This is chambered 44 Magnum, and thanks to Underwood Ammo for sending these uh, 44 Magnums. Is this stopping a 44 Magnum? So there's that round, one, and then we have one on the bottom, center. No way. Wow. <laughs> it stopped the 44 Magnum. Okay, so it, uh, it damaged the bottle, but it not penetrated, and this damage is not from the bullet. It's from this uh, wood material just pushing the water. Okay, so 44 Magnum didn't make it out of this door either. Let's go bigger. All right, next round is gonna be a 500 Smith & Wesson. This 700 grain projectile from Underwood Ammo. And let's see what happens. Jasper, what do you think? Is it gonna go through? Probably. You think so? Uh, I have a feeling it won't, I don't know. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it did go through. Oh man, look at this destruction. I should have put more uh, water. Maybe we would have gotten that bullet. Okay, so as you can see, this door is kaput. No sign of the bullet. Wait. That's better, it's in there. The bullet, it's in it. No. Yeah. The only reason that blew up was from the this coming out. It stopped the 500 Smith & Wesson. Oh wow. It's, guys, it stopped the 500 Smith & Wesson. Let's move to the rifle rounds. So it stopped the biggest uh, projectile a handgun can have. Doesn't get any bigger than a 500 Smith & Wesson. That's impressive. And of course, nobody's gonna take a 500 Smith & Wesson on the plane. I'm super impressed. I don't know about you guys. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, for the next round, we're gonna do the AR-15. And we'll use some 223 green tip. Okay, here we go. Lower. It looks like it came right out. The 223. It's going so fast, it's coming right out of that Kevlar. And it blew up. This water bottle. I shot it twice, one lower, one higher. I wasn't really sure where it was gonna land. Looks like the first one came out, didn't do it because it just missed the bottle water. The second one did it. All right, next we're doing the 762 by 39 and we're using this SKS with the suppressor on it. You ready? Ready. Here we go. And there's that. Uh, I was aiming lower, I guess. Let's go a little bit higher. <laughs> well, we got it. And this thing is pretty heavy, by the way. It weighs, uh, I don't know, like 50 pounds or so. No, it didn't make it out. So it looks like that's where we shot. On the right, it went in a little bit, but it did not make it out from the back. This stuff is pretty tough. And uh, let's go a few more rounds. Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> we shot it looks like right over there, over here. And it came out from the back. So that one round got stopped on this bar that holds the emergency door. And we did shoot it over here. It did not come out from the back. So if the bullet was to hit anywhere where is, there's a lot of uh, this uh, sheet metal, it will not make it out, looks like. Even if it was by this uh, viewfinder. You know what, I haven't shot the viewfinder. I wonder if the bullet will go through it. You know one thing I just thought about? I don't know why I didn't uh, think of this earlier, but we've been shooting all these rounds from inside out. From the material that's inside this door, it should not affect it, it should, uh, work, uh, should work both ways. So this is on the inside, so this is where the pilots would be uh, on the inside. And we've been shooting it from inside out. Typically you would be outside of this and shooting it the other way around. But it just looked uh, cooler from this side, so 
Hopefully that doesn't change the results too much, but I don't think it will. So we hit the viewfinder. I think it did come out. It was going a little bit lower area. No, I did hit it too. Looks like a couple of rounds were going in. There's one shot that was center. But it did not crack that glass. And on top, we hit a couple more rounds on top here. There you have it. Did something fall out and hit my foot? What is this stuff? Looks like this is the stuff that is inside of a beehive. It's got the Kevlar. Ah, there's no way I'm gonna get that out. Oh, <laughs> here's a bullet. Uh, looks like the 40 or the 9 millimeter. Okay, 500. Yeah, over there. Oh, here. Yep, I was right. It stopped the 500 Smith and Wesson. Here's the Kevlar. I think it's Kevlar. I don't know. Or maybe different material. But there's layers after layers. No hole. Impressing results. Let's uh, take these, both of these out and then shoot it with the 50 BMG. That'll be a good idea. Together? Yeah, together. So we'll take two of these doors like that back to back. Oh yes, put... You take or you just put like that? Now we're gonna shoot it with the 50 BMG using a Serbu BFG 50A and we're doing this armor piercing incendiary now. I think it'll go through, but uh, I don't know. That 500 stopped. All right, we are hot. That's pretty ready. Ready. Got your ears? Yes. All right, fire no. <laughs> that did it. We are clear. Yeah, went right in. So looks like went in right over here. It came right out. Oh, it even hit this metal. I don't think it, it hit any Kevlar. I don't know if there's Kevlar over there. It did hit that metal, looks like. It came right out of it. But I don't know if it's got any uh, Kevlar on top. Maybe it's more on the bottom. So let's do this. Let's put this thing like it would be from the outside in. We'll put that like that. And then we'll put this like this here. So it has to go through this Kevlar piece and a second one. Let's shoot it one more time. Oh yeah, destroyed those ones. Putting this log back here, just in case. Okay, for this round I'm gonna use the armor piercing incendiary tracer. We are hot, just pretty ready. Got ready. your ears. Fire no. Oh yeah, I went through. I saw wood pieces flying. Clear. It went in right over here. And there was Kevlar over there. Came right out. Went inside that panel. Came out of that too, and it split our wood in half. Went through both times. All right, that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Every time I take a flight, I'm always wondering uh, if these things can stop a bullet after they're shot. And um, we'll find out right now. Maybe this is not a really good idea to show this for people. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's get to it.